what President Buhari can do during his trip to Imo State that will make Nigerians, or specifically Igbos, love him more. Oweri, the Imo State capital, would be agog for Buhari on Thursday and Friday as the president makes his first visit to the southeast since the 2019 election. The official visit was revealed by Imo State Governor Hopu Zodima recently at the Sam Mbakwe Airport. But as the president visits, he and his handlers are not ignorant of the sentiment against him in the region. He is aware that he is not popular in the southeast compared to the north and southwest. His low popularity and acceptance in Igbo land are underlined by his low vote from that region in all past elections. But one evident thing is that Buhari is eager to rewrite the narrative and make Igbos fall in love with him more. This is evident in how much his party has lobbied and strategized to make any inroads to the region. However, his visit to Imo presents a golden opportunity for Buhari to change the mindset and convince Igbos about his love for the region. In this article, I will highlight three key things the president can do in a way to boost his acceptance and support among and support base among Indigos. Create massive publicity and advertisement around his achievements in the region in the last six years. That's the first tip that this person has put and developed on that. And the second is to talk about how he has appointed many Igbo sons and daughters into strategic positions in his government. And the third point is to declare openly what he plans to do for the region before the end of his administration. Uh, do you think these strategies can make Igbo's love Buhari? I am persuaded that if the president does all these, Indigos will begin to reconsider their negative impression of him. And this could help attract new federal projects to the region. Okay, um, in all honesty, I think this comes from a very genuine place uh, from this writer specifically. However, um, it's, it's very, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's very fairy tale like is very um it's cushioned it's not the real core truth i do not there's no way buhari can impress Igbos. never it, it cannot happen um it's actually very much impossible <laughs> um those that support his government are highly criticized you know i mean the Igbos that support his government are highly criticized by themselves by their own people so the possibility that, okay, fine, let's say even a little percentage liking him would do a lot. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And um, it's totally justified. I mean, of course, what can they do? He is the president and um, there is no way Buhari has proven in the past to be very much pro Igbo or support them in any way. So this, in all honesty, sounds very, very cushioned, very lighthearted. Um, it's not really giving the full scope of how things really are. Buhari has not proven to be on the side of Igbos ever. It, it what like the it's literally it's literally right there, in in the in the language that he uses. So again, everything here. I mean, even the words like trying using words like convince to describe how you know um um Buhari can get on the side of Igbos. And the negative impression. This is the, the facts are the facts. Buhari doesn't like Igbos, so Igbos don't like Buhari. Like it is not. I like it would be very funny. I'm talking if the ch the chances are none. Chances are none that Igbos would be like, you know what? We I mean listen, if that actually happens and Igbos support Buhari, listen, that would be if there's a referendum and then Biafra is achieved. That is it, to be honest. Um, someone says, May Amadio have visited him with thunder from all the innocent souls he has wasted. So says, Buhari doesn't need Igbos to love him. He needs all Nigerians and Nigeria and Nigerians to love him. Someone says, Mr. Kao, he's talking. <laughs> In reply to that comment, um, 
Buhari has no and will never have a warm place in the heart of Indibu. This is a man who has treated us most disrespectfully. This is a man who imposed on us a governor we never elected in the 21st century. He talked to us in a language we understood by killing hundreds of Igbo's, Igbo youths. Certainly the most fairy furnace awaits him in the afterlife. It would be like even those that are in his government, like Koko Zodima, um, whoever is in APC support, who's, who's like, it, it's just not, no. Why? Why would you even want to do that to yourself? Um, yeah. So again, it, it's it, it's virtually impossible. I don't I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, and all the points listed are inconsequential. Does it? They 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 don't add to anything. They're not really. Okay, if these points, I'd say okay, fine. Had even the slimmest chance of making the boys like him, okay, I would say it. But it's it's not there at all. Um. um what can Igbos do? Like I, I don't like the man. I think they only like him if, as I said before, if he allows for Biafranta. Biafranta happen, and that's it. That's actually the most. We we move in that regard. We actually move. Um. Yeah, it's funny that that is just it's so like it's just unimaginable. Igbos liking Buhari. Oof. That's yeah. Can't describe it. Someone says. Buhari, we the Igbos hate you with passion. It's not me. It's, it's the comments that are here. Someone says, uh, thunder fire you. Uh, this is the best time to declare seat at home. <laughs> it has been declared already, apparently. Um, listen, it's just, it's just not possible. It's not like, again, the man has not proven to be on their side. So why should Igbos be on his side or try to support him? Why? Why would he do that? Why would Igbos do that? Why? Why? And then for him to even undermine and then... Yeah, because I think when he went on his rant, I don't even know if it's a rant. Basically, the, the period where he was, you know, trying to teach uh, the la language or... How did, how did he even say it? Teaching was the language that they understand. Um, At that point, he also, in in a way, ins he insulted and trivialized the impact of the Biafran war and saying that the generation now do not even know anything because they were not there because apparently he was in the war and he knew basically trying to make it seem like as if the Nigerian state suffered more and the Nigerian state because that's what he was representing and fighting for surprise surprise um that from he, he just suggested that you know you goes now you, you don't know what you're saying and so from that alone uh, that is like just so insulting which I mean we're not in the West, but cancel culture would have cancelled him. Quick, quick. That's it. Put what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.